EA Sports. Both defenses will have to be on the watch for a pair of tight ends looking to find seams in the secondary. It's the Cardinals going up against the 49ers. Forget about the drought. The rain is coming down hard at Levi Stadium in Santa Clara as we bring in our broadcast duo of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Guys. Larry, I'm not sure it'll solve the California drought problems, but it's coming down in buckets right now as we welcome you inside Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. A few short moments ago, these two teams made their way out of the Levi Stadium tunnels, and the noise level in this place was deafening. They're set for football as the 49ers get ready to do battle with the Arizona Cardinals. Welcome again, everybody, with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and yes, the rain is falling now, and it is supposed to continue to fall throughout this game. So how do you think that will impact this contest? Well, first and foremost, both quarterbacks are going to make sure the officials have those dry footballs coming in each and every play and standing over them sometimes with a towel before the center gets up there to snap it. Second thing is the focus of all the guys who handle the football. Do they wear gloves? Do they take them off? Will they carry the ball high and tight to make sure they have good ball security? That's paramount in a game like this. Set to go now on a wet and rainy afternoon. And we are underway from Santa Clara. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. Arizona's offense prating out there, and they'll be led by Drew Stanton. Carson Palmer, the arm injury, so Drew Stanton came in last week in that blowout loss to L.A., 5 of 14 with an interception, and the offense struggled. Yeah, L.A. had the game well in hand by the time he came in. Don't let those numbers fool you. One thing about the Arizona Cardinals I do know, head coach Bruce Arians trusts Drew Stanton, and he'll adjust the offensive play calling accordingly to take advantage of Stanton's strengths, which means getting him out of the pocket a little bit and using his legs. First down, Stanton. And no, incomplete. Boy, they took a shot there on the first play, trying to start it out with a bang. But it's second down. And certainly one of the mainstays in this offense is the crafty veteran, L. Fitz. Love the way you phrased it, crafty. This guy knows how to get open and catch the football. Second down now after the incompletion. To throw again. Stanton over the middle, and it's incomplete. He was trying to get it to AP out of the backfield. Third down here. And the 49ers on the defensive side of the football. Jimmy Ward has the ability to put multiple positions in the secondary. I think his best spot is at the nickel corner. Able to utilize his instincts, able to utilize his strength. He can take on any of the receivers inside and match up with their quickness or their height. So now an early third and ten here on their opening drive. Now Stanton. He checks it down here to Ellington. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. It'll be a gain of six, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. And at his size, he's a smaller back. You can get him to football. He can kind of get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you said there. Sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little bit. But get him out in the open field into some space. That plays to his strengths the best and keeps him out of it where all the big boys are, you know, make him make someone miss in the open field. Here's the veteran punter Lee as he sends this one away. This is taken at the 15. Well, that'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And the Niners will go on offense first and 10. But San Francisco, their offense only put up 10 points in the 40 to 10 loss a week ago to Dallas. C.J. Beathard, 22 of 38 in that game. No touchdowns, no interceptions. Is Beathard the future? What do you think for this franchise? I think he is definitely for the rest of this season. And he became the starter a little bit earlier than I think San Francisco anticipated him doing so. 
but he has great poise. He played in a pro-style offense at the University of Iowa, and he really caught the head coach Kyle Shanahan's eye with his ability to make plays both in and out of the pocket. So I think that they believe in him and like him, and they'll evaluate him for the rest of 2017 to see what they want to do as a franchise in draft, free agency, and everything moving ahead. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Normally when you put together a 3-4 defense, you want massive people up front who can eat up blockers and allow the linebackers to run free. But how about the big fella right there? Breaking all codes and getting into the backfield and making the play. So now 11 yards to go for this offensive unit. It's second down. They'll throw here. Bathard got his target, Pierre Garçon. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. When you're rebuilding, we know you got to hit it big in the draft, but you also want to acquire free agents. They're going to really set the tone for your team. Pierre Garçon had some history with head coach Kyle Shanahan previously. I think that's why they picked him up. He's got great history in this league, of course, starting with the Colts, then the Redskins, now the Niners. Now Bathard. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. That throw is not going to get him a whole lot, but that really didn't matter, did it? They got what they needed on that throw. Picked up the first down, and I'm going cliche here. Game of inches, partner. Absolutely. We, and you talked to me a lot about opening drives, how key those are to set the tone. You kept the drive alive. Third down conversion here has been. That's what they were aiming for. You want to keep moving the sticks, get into a rhythm, gain confidence as you go along. And right now, mission accomplished. They go play action here on first down. No, bottled up. Fumble. It's out. It's loose. So it goes as a fumble, but the key thing, not a fumble loss. Yeah, that, that stat's big, isn't it? I mean, it, I remember watching teams play. The ball might be on the ground a number of times during the game, but the other team doesn't get it. That's a huge difference in the ball game. And in this case, they were able to retain possession. So the offense avoids disaster, keeps possession. Now it's second down. Here we go. Here we go. They'll give to Hyde. And not much. Maybe a yard up to the 29. An extra DB added here for the cards on third. Blitzer play coverage. Here's Bethard to throw. And that is incomplete. In his third year on is the punter, Bradley Pinion, to kick it away as he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. And did they keep it in? They did. They kept it in. It's down close to the goal line at the one-yard line.
The Cardinal offense now making their way back out onto the field. Well, they're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball into their territory. Very tough spot here for the offense to start. Now the first carry for Adrian Peterson. And he'll get him a little space here up to the five-yard line. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Well, that kind of run on first down, that's a winning type of a run. That just sets things up for them moving forward as they begin the drive. Deep in their own territory, they look to throw. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. They'd like to avoid punting from their own end zone so they could use something here on third down. And he's got Gresham. And he is going to get the first down, it looks like, as he's up to the 12. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Fresh set of downs here. Now a play fake here on first down. And he's going to go down right near the goal line. The officials look at each other. They're going to mark him at the one-yard line. I think most quarterbacks would love to have the goal line actually extend up into the air and turn into a wall. They could put their back against it and know exactly where they are on the field so they don't end up in the end zone. Didn't do it on that play, but perilously close to the goal line. Second down, Peterson. And he'll get him a little bit of breathing room across the five to the six-yard line. Give him four yards there, but still in a big hole. Third and long. And some secondary help here for the defense in the nickel on third and long. Operating from the gun, Stanton. And he's going to go down. Back at his own five-yard line, it's a sack. DeForest Buckner able to drop him for a loss of two, and that'll bring up fourth down. I think most quarterbacks would love to have the goal line actually extend up into the air and turn into a wall. And they could put their back against it and know exactly where they are on the field so they don't end up in the end zone. Didn't do it on that play, but perilously close to the goal line. Here's Andy Lee now. On for his second punt. He'd take a repeat of his first. And he's able to get it out of there. 
And he'll take it just outside the 40. Give him 11 yards that time on the return. And the Niners set up well. They take over first and 10 on the short side of the field. The 49ers offense now, they work their way back onto the field. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. To throw is Bethard. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Kyle Juszczyk, the fullback, the intended target. And it's second down. And the starting crew now for San Francisco. Head coach Kyle Shanahan will bring a brand new look to the offense for San Francisco in 2017. They will rely much more on a zone blocking scheme, better timing patterns downfield, and a quarterback has some mobility both in and out of the pocket in order to try and improve on a 31st ranking in 2016. Looking left sideline, but it's incomplete. Pierre Garçon, the intended receiver, and it's third down. And the 11 defensive starters for Arizona. With the Cardinals, you get a package of pressure, and that's on any down, any distance. They always want more people near the line of scrimmage, more people attacking the quarterback. And then back behind that, they have a lot of different looks in their secondary, and they can't wait to get Tyron Matthew back on the field full time. He's their wild card because they can play him at safety or at corner. Third down here for the offense after the incomplete pass. Back to throw Bethard. Over the middle to Kittle. Complete. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. I like how they work the tight end on a nice little under route there. And if you're going to give him that much space, he's not going to catch the football. He's going to run away from you a little bit. And that's exactly what he just did there, picking up extra yardage. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. Here we go now. Handoff comes to high. And a solid run down inside the 30. Officials so cognizant of that call nowadays, but that would look pretty easy. Yeah, you're right. They took out of their hands having to wonder whether it's a five yard or a 15 yard inadvertent or not. Now it's a lot easier. You see it, you call it. And now a first down following that long gain. the penalty it's high and he's going to get it inside the 10 to the seven yard line it's a seven yard carry to set them up with a second and three that was a good run probably right on the edge of breaking into something really big so the defensive guys right now are talking about okay what can we do to slow him down before he truly gets started to throw and that is out of the back of the end zone incomplete George Kittle the receiver that he was looking for and it's third and short the throwing windows get a lot tighter near the end zone don't they and here's the thing you already probably have three points in your hip pocket you force a throw here and give up an interception you come away with nothing especially tough in the middle third of the field where he threw that one Blue 
Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? Encroachment of defense. So a pretty big third down mistake right there. No doubt about it, and everyone's going to be upset. But they have to get out of this now and go ahead and play. They could have someone come at them in a big way on the next down. From the four-yard line, it's first and goal now. They come out here in the eye. A toss play. This is high. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. They always say when you have your health, you have everything. And Tyron Matthew back on the field, full strength. Great sight to see. How helpful is that for the secondary of Arizona? Beyond helpful because they can match him up in so many different ways. Outside corner, inside at the nickel slot, safety position, both strong and free. His versatility drives them in the secondary. Bethard. And he hauls it in in the end zone. Touchdown, San Francisco. George Kittle, a five yard touchdown. And the Niners have taken the early lead. Sometimes those tight ends are a mismatch. They found the mismatch there. And that's exactly why you want to draw up those types of plays because coverage is just going to go to the natural guys, the guys that make the big plays on the outside. But if you work your tight end into it, that's a tough one for a defense to handle. Tough. They couldn't handle it. It worked out for six. And we'll see if this rain affects the team's decisions going forward, but they kick it here, and it's good. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And the end result for the 49ers, a touchdown. Pinion now to kick this one away. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. The Cardinals offense now works their way back onto the field. And this is their third drive. Maybe the focus right now not so much on points, but getting their first first down. And when you start off a game, you don't even think that's an issue, do you? But you go a drive, a second drive, no first down, that becomes an issue. Now you got to think about, okay, what type of play calling do I have to do to get us in a spot to pick that first one up? Throwing on first down, Stanton. He couldn't quite hold it, got hit. Ball pops out, incomplete. So second and ten here. Handoff comes to Peterson. And he'll wind up with about six up past the 30 to the 31. The Cardinals on third down. Just one for three thus far. This is third and four. to throw Stanton and this is going to be incomplete 
Here's Andy Lee now as he's on to punt for Arizona. And he's getting a workout here in this first quarter as he gets it away. And this will be taken at the 13. So possession goes over here on the punt. And possession will switch hands first and 10. And San Francisco gets set to go here. That last drive, it was a good mix. Run, pass, run, pass. Defense on their toes. And what really helps out in a big way is when you're doing the run-pass mix and everything's working, that means that they're guessing wrong every time on defense. They think you're going to pass when you run and vice versa. I would continue that, and when they finally draw a bead on you, maybe you mix it up a little bit with play action and throw the ball. And will they maintain that balance? Time to find out. Here's Hyde as they begin on the ground. And he'll go down right at the 30-yard line. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Playing as a 3-4 front is really challenging for offensive linemen because they can do so many different things. But when you're running the football, if you can handle the nose tackle up front and then maybe a guard can slide up to the second level and block a linebacker, that's when you have success running the football. Second down, Hyde. And this time he's not going anywhere. They'll get him down right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what'll be a third and four. I thought it was a big deal when Arizona acquired Chandler Jones before the 2016 season. Some people called it a boom or bust trade. Which Chandler Jones would you get? I think the Cardinals like what they saw in 2016. After four years with New England, really settling in as a Cardinal. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he maybe makes it back to the line of scrimmage. That's it. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. Well, at least he was able to break that initial contact, or it could have been a loss. Yeah, give credit to the defensive player, though. What did he do? Made him slow down, slow up his feet, and allowed the rest of the guys to get there to finish him off. Here's Bradley Pinion now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. And this one hits at the three and then bounds into the end zone for a touchback. So out now come the Cardinals. The results for them so far not that great. Well. Not good at all. Three drives, three punts. Yeah, and now what you're doing is you're looking at your play sheet, you're trying to figure out what you're going against defensively. I wonder, are they showing them something they haven't seen or anticipated in practice, and maybe that's throwing them off? Or do they just have to go to a different play calling section and try and run some offense that way? Peterson as they begin on the ground. And he goes nowhere. He'll lose yardage back at the 17. That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play. And that'll make this a second and 13. I would not want to be an offensive lineman in today's NFL, especially not a center or a guard if you got to deal with these massive defensive tackles who could not just beat you with strength, but they can beat you with quickness and guile as well. They can get upfield and make plays. And a lot of times what they're taught, just go ahead and tackle everyone that comes in your area and keep the one with the ball. Off play action, Stanton. Caught right side, Jerron Brown. And they're gonna get this one all the way out across the 45. One quarter in the books. 7 nothing is our score. We're back to Santa Clara after this.
The NFL on EA Sports is fueled by Gatorade, the sports fuel company. Ready to go now in the second quarter. Brandon Gaunton, Charles Davis. It's the Cardinals in possession of the football, and they've got it here with a first down. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. On first and 10, Stanton. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. DeForest Buckner in there to get him his second sack now of the afternoon. I'm starting to feel for that quarterback back there. I mean, you know me. Normally, don't have a lot of empathy for the QB, right? In this case, definitely. He's been on constant duress this entire game. I don't know how he's surviving back there. And to think, there's still a long way to go in this football game. to throw on second down. Stanton in the middle of the field. He's got Nelson. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. The Cardinals on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is going to be third and 13. From the gun, Stanton. Under pressure here, and down he goes. Sack back at about the 43-yard line. DeForest Buckner in there to pick up his second sack now of the afternoon. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Here's Andy Lee now. He's been terrific so far. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. And that'll hit in the end zone. Much too much leg there. That'll be a touchback. Now here's the signal caller getting ready to lead this offense again. His side, they've got the lead. Uh, but I, I think... You know, he's not happy with how he's played. That, that's the bottom line. But how many adjustments need to be made when, bottom line, you're, you're winning? Yeah, you're just trying to play better for yourself because if you do, then you've got a chance to increase your lead and your team will play better. Yeah. Look, you know, when you fight your internal battle as a quarterback and you're not playing as well as you want to, just fall back on the old cliche. There's no I in team, but there's definitely one in win. Look at that. Davis, yeah, no I in team, but he'll, he'll see if he can pick himself up a little bit here on this drive. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. I think we saw some of the best qualities of Carlos Hyde on that run, able to pick up something there, being physical running the football, but I think he's got really good vision and great feet. He's going to be the key to this offense really being revitalized. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Footing's definitely going to be an issue because it's tough to make those quick cuts that you used to make it on a soggy track. In fact, a Hall of Fame runner once told me, cut on your heels in this type of weather. Gives you better balance. Let's go. 
The 10th carry for Hyde. And some room to maneuver. That one good for 16, and the drive will continue. I absolutely love the run right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed. And he's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking. Always talk about slot receivers. And they're usually known as quicker than fast. In this case, we've got a guy who's quick and fast, and he used it to great advantage. time we end up putting a little too much heat on it don't you think partner absolutely just needed a touch more air under it instead he fired an absolute bullet so incomplete on first let's see what second down has in store gonna give this time to the tailback room to run inside the 40 and now off to the races down the right side Touchdown, 49ers! A great effort there, 53 yards. And the 49ers add six to their lead. And they're able to run it in. It started with the battle in the trenches. They won there, and they got in for six points. And that's going to be a tough one for the defense to deal with. They've got to go to the bench now and figure out how are we going to slow down this running game because on that particular play, they had no answer. Gold to add the extra point. And it's good to make it 14 nothing. So the drive there, five plays, 80 yards. And a pretty good run there in the end to top it off. Pinion now to kick this one away. Here's Britton Golden now on the return. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. Out comes this field general once more leading his offense back onto the field. And he has not really been able to have a lot of comfort back there in the pocket. Pressure's been coming at him a lot, hasn't it? And they've got to figure out how to tamp down that pressure. How do they decrease it? Is it getting rid of the football quicker? You know, shorter drops? Maybe they do something different with their pass blocking and their protection schemes. Maybe you meet them on the line of scrimmage instead of retreating to try and protect your quarterback. They've got to figure something out, though, because you cannot let your guy get hit that much. Not if you intend to win. Yeah, I know they'd like to erase that video and those four sacks that they've seen so far. They start the drive with Peterson. And not a whole lot doing there as he'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Defenses always talk about earning the right to rush the passer on third down. And you know what offenses want? Win first down so they can set things up for themselves better. And that wasn't helpful there. Not a big impact on first down. To throw on second down. Stanton. Over the middle. Jerron Brown's got it. It's a pickup of 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs.
First down, here's the run with Peterson. And he'll take this one up close to about the 45. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. A one-yard gain could look like a disaster, but it all depends on how the game is going. Is it a series of one-yard gains running the ball? If that's the case, you might have to start thinking about throwing it a little bit more. But if it's just the occasional one-yard run, hey, congratulations to the defense. They won that one. Come back and get them the next time. This one complete to Gresham. And he's brought down. 17 yards on the pickup there, and the drive will continue. And now the passing game here in the second quarter starting to heat up a little bit. Don't you feel the rhythm starting to happen, right? You see it now. The confidence is starting to rise. I think now as a play caller, because that has happened, you lean on it a little bit more. You don't go totally away from running the football, but you do say, guess what? We can throw it. We can throw it well with a whole lot of confidence. First down, Stanton. And this is caught on the left side, Jerron Brown. Just a yard on the catch there. It'll be second and nine. Can you do any more work or make it more dramatic for not much gain than what we just saw there? Did you see how his toes got down? Tip-tap, tip-tap, got him down. But what did he get out of it? He sold the sizzle. He just had no stake. <laughs> I mean, was it one yard? Yeah, you, plays like that, you at least expect a first down there, just Green, one yard. Green, 39! Green, 39! Looking to throw on second down. Stanton. And he will find his man on the outside. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. Well, that was an okay hookup there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. The Cardinals on third down. Just one for five to this point. This will be third and six. Let's go! Three, 19. Three. Operating from the gun, Stanton. The swing pass caught, and he doesn't quite make it. They do stop him, but he gets it all the way down to the one. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. A nice job there, Charles. They picked up the blitz, were able to complete the pass. That had the total feel of a quarterback in control. Red blitz, got him into the right protection scheme. So he doesn't get hit back there. He's got a chance to step up with supreme confidence and deliver it downfield for a nice completion. And we've got movement by one of the big boys up front for Arizona. Flag comes in. All-star offense. So that one will be accepted. Again, he'll drop to throw. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. The tight end, Jermaine Gresham, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. I absolutely love that play call there. They just came off of a big play. They've got momentum in their direction, and they come back and take the shot at the end zone. Just unable to complete it. I love their aggressiveness. And you feel like the defense, a sigh of relief, could have been back-to-back -back really big plays. And the eighth play on this drive coming up. To throw on second down. Stanton. And he'll take this one in for the Arizona touchdown. Jermaine Gresham from six yards away. And the Cardinals draw a bit closer. The tight end position has always been dangerous, especially in the red zone, short field. But now even more so because these tight ends aren't necessarily the tight ends of old. They're the rocked up wide receivers who have a little bit more speed, way harder to cover than before. Here's Phil Dawson now for the point after. 
And that one makes it 14 to 7. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And it winds up in a touchdown for Arizona. Here's Dawson now to kick this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. And he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Right. Those guys have an innate <laughs> sense of where they are in a ball game and how many yards they've accumulated because you know they're always working towards 100. He's been working well towards 100 here. They start the drive with highs. He spins free. And he's got some space here. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. They give him 14 yards that time and a fresh set of downs. I've yet to meet a wide receiver who likes to block more than catching the football. But the best ones understand that that tab will actually get more passes thrown to them if they help in the run game. And anytime you get a run of that yardage, that means the wide receivers did help. They get down to what a lot of people call the second level, the linebackers, or the third level where the defensive backs are, and they get out in front and put their bodies out there and create more space for their runners to gain the yardage. Hurry up, here we go. Green, 39. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Over the middle to Garcon. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. He got 29 yards that time. They hit that crossing route really well. Excellent timing. Puts it right on him, and he keeps running. Yeah, turned it upfield for good yardage. They'll throw. He's got his man on the crossing route. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. 23 yards on the play. running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. Now let's go. They'll run high. And he's able to find some room as they get him down after a good run. A good pick up there, seven yards, and it's going to be second and goal now. Some good strong running right there, some power and some explosiveness just about got him into the end zone. Let's go. 3 
They'll set up a throw. Feeling the pressure here and taken down. A sack back at the seven. Hassan Reddick, the rookie from Temple. And that is going to set up third and goal. This Cardinals pass rush in 2016 got home 48 times. That's a pretty good number. A very good number. Led the league. Is it just because the dudes that they had or the scheme or both or what? It's always the dudes first. But their scheme, attacking, pressure, they'll continue to pile up the sacks. And this offense on third down today, they've hit two for four thus far. This is third and goal. Looking to throw. He shakes him off. And it's complete. In the end zone. Touchdown 49ers. Well, that's what I call the answer right there. They gave up a sack on the previous play. How about what they did to finish things off, turning it right back around? That's the response, and that O-line feels a lot better now, don't they? Yeah, without a doubt, because give up the sack in the previous play, that just hurts those guys, because they never want to see their guy get hit. Now gold for the extra point. It's good, and it is now 21 to 7. That drive goes 80 yards in six plays, and it's polished off by a touchdown for San Francisco. The punter pinion now to kick this one away. This is taken at his four. Now a hit and a loose football. And now this is scooped up by the 49ers. And they will score. It's a 49er touchdown. A big play there. Taking it in. And the 49ers add on to their lead. We remind you that coming up at halftime, Larry Ridley will have the highlights and analysis of this first half from our studios in Orlando. And I have a feeling those highlights will be pretty one-sided, too. Yeah, I think you're right, partner. Gold to add the extra point. He knocks it through. It's 28-7. The scoop and score, always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. This will be taken in at the one. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Now we get a peek at the captain of this offense heading back out there. A lot of the problems have been on the other side of the ball. Is that frustrating for a quarterback who's been playing well? It is, but there's no way that the best ones let their teammates know that. They actually take it upon themselves and say, okay, 
I have to do even more or I need to play better. Maybe even say I put my defense in a bad spot. That's what true leadership shows you. Yeah, well, he doesn't need to change much personally. Throwing on first down, Stanton. And Gresham has it, left side. Give him a couple on the catch, it's second and eight. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. Looking to throw on second down. Stanton, he gets it into the hands of Larry Fitzgerald. And he's taken down, but not before getting this across midfield and just shy of the 40. A really good pickup of 28 yards. I know one adage that actually held up last year. Age is just a number. And I'm talking about Larry Fitzgerald. 33 years old, led the NFL in receptions with 107 third oldest guy to lead the NFL in receptions. Two guys did it at age 34, Jerry Rice and MacArthur Lane. On first and ten, Stanton. And Gresham's got it over the middle. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Fifth catch of the game for him there. Yeah, and the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. Used to be occasional, right, safety valve, throw one to him every so often, but more, mainly they want him out there to block. Nowadays, an integral part of the passing game, and they create such great mismatches that they often become the leading receiver. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. And we are back here. I'm Brandon Gunn alongside Charles Davis. So the offense takes a timeout. And now we're set to get going. Offense lining up first and ten. And we've got movement by one of the big boys up front for Arizona. Flag comes in. Foster, offense. So now first and 15. Now Stanton. Here's a screen to Powell. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. And before this second down play, we'll get a whistle, a signal, and a timeout. As the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half.
to throw on second down. Stanton. It's brought in complete. It's John Brown. It'll be a pickup of 15 as that'll lead to third down. In recent years, the slot receivers really gained stature in the NFL because they could do so many things. Yes, they can line up wide like your normal wide receiver, but to have that kind of courage and toughness to run routes in the middle of the field and become dependable targets for their quarterbacks and move the sticks, those guys are worth their weight in gold. gun on third down. Stanton fighting his safety valve here. That's complete. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. And we're back. The offense had a chance to talk things over. We'll see what they come up with here on this next play. So the offense has it first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. It's a gain of five, and that'll bring up second down. And he quickly clocks it, and they're going to have a good shot at getting three here before the break. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. This is a 26-yard attempt. And the 42-year-old veteran's kick is up and good. So we are at halftime here on Halloween as we send you cross-country to our EA Sports Studios in Orlando with our halftime report. Here's Larry Ridley. Thanks, Brandon, and welcome to the EA Halftime Report. Let's take a look back at the first half. The 49ers are happy to be sitting in the locker room with a lead. The Cardinals didn't play their best, and they'll need to be at their best now to come back. All right, let's do it. Here's a look at the first half highlights. 49ers have it on second and five. The pass will be completed into coverage, and this play will go for six. The 49ers with the early advantage. Now early in the second, the blocking here will free up the run, and this four-play drive goes for a touchdown. Cardinals on offense midway through the second as they move out in front, 14-0. Here a throw deep down the field is caught. Cardinals later on the drive, and he'll be tackled at the one-yard line. Stanton's going to thread the needle here, and he kept off the long drive with a touchdown. Third and seven. The Cardinals down by seven. Taylor is able to get open here, and he caps off the six-play drive with the score. 49ers lead balloons to 20. So that'll do it from our studios in Orlando for the second half kickoff. Let's get you back out west to Santa Clara and Brandon Guy. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This one taken just inside the 10. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. Here comes the 49ers offensive unit as they'll have it first to begin this third quarter. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff 
spend the entire halftime just working with them on here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. They go play action here on first down. To the right side, caught by Salah. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 12 yards there as they move the chains. Let's just make this one simple. Could he be any more open than he was on that play? Yeah, they lost him going to the outside. Hard to believe because you go through your accounting on each and every defensive snap. Who's got who, what, what defense you're in. That was totally a blown coverage. Still needing 10 yards, second down. Here we go now. Green 39. Green 39. Here's Beathard to throw. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. He was trying to get it to George Kittle. It's tight end, and it's third down. That one didn't quite make it to the target, but that's not always a function of the strength of the arm of the quarterback, is it? Sometimes there's just too much pressure there. In any case, the ball doesn't arrive. The Niners on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and 10. They'll throw here, Bathard. And that will be incomplete as well. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he led him just a little bit too much, trying to get it out to his receiver ends up falling to the ground incomplete. Here's Bradley Pinion now as he's on to punt for San Francisco. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. And that is much too long. That's into the end zone for a touchback. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. They were able to get the stop defensively. Now a chance really to set the tone here in quarter three. They can really take charge, can't they? And this is probably how it was drawn up at the half. I think we can go inside the locker room, all right? <laughs> and I think we would see up on the grease boards, stop them defensively, get the ball back for the offense, and let's go downfield and score. Seems simple, right? The last part, we have to find out that's going to happen. But the first part worked to perfection. Did exactly what they wanted, and now their offense has to pay it off. See if they can get the latter 50%. Stanton. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Second down following the incompletion. They give it to Peterson. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. Pretty good running there, nine yards. Sets up a third and one. So much of the game today. We're looking for hybrid players, guys who can do a combination of jobs. And anyone who plays a strong safety position now more than ever is a hybrid type player. Half defensive back that covers passes and half linebacker that makes tackles. 
We just saw the linebacker make that play. The Cardinals on third down. Three for seven so far in this game. They're up against a third and one situation. They'll run it. Here's Peterson. And just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. Just a one-yard pickup there, and it'll be fourth down. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Here's Andy Lee now. He's been one of their few bright spots so far. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. This is taken at the 15. A good return there. Call it 13 yards. And the Niners will go on offense first and 10. Now Carlos Hyde gears up to take the field again. So after that hot start, the numbers here show the decline. What has the defense done adjustment-wise? Sometimes when you have a running back who's gotten off to a hot start, you've got to catch him before he really gets going. So you change what you do across the defensive front. Instead of the linebackers being back a few yards, you bring them up closer. It's what we call mugging the line of scrimmage, taking away a lot of blocking angles and gaps and maybe stopping him before he can get going. Mugging the line of scrimmage, okay. Yeah, in this case. Let's go. Now a play fake here on first down. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Second down here after the incomplete pass. Here we go now. Blue line to throw is Bethard. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Taylor. The reception good for seven. It's third down. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works the defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. The Niners on third down. They've hit it 50%, three of six to this point. This time it's third and three. Bathard. He dumps it to Hyde. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first. Offense comes to the line now, first and 10. Let's go! Green, 39! Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. And this one is incomplete. Sure, that pass was incomplete as they made an attempt to get a big one downfield. But that's okay because the second part of that is if you don't get the completion, at least you've told the defense you're trying to stretch them out a little bit, and they may have to change accordingly. So the incomplete pass brings up second down. Hurry up, here we go. 319. 319. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. Encroachment defense. A little antsy on the left side of the line. Yeah, I think they got the guy in the end. I think they got the DN there on that one. And let's face it, he is so amped up. Wanting to get a good get off on the snap. Jump too quickly. So we've got a second and five.
fight his way forward to about the 48-yard line. It'll only be a gain of a yard, and it sets up a third down and four now. Well, praise has to go to the guys on the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game, and while they slowed them down on that run, can they continue to do so because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game? Back to throw Bathard. And that is incomplete. Here's Bradley Pinion now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And not what he was hoping for there, as this will hit in the end zone for a touchback. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, <laughs> realize it hasn't worked so well. Go to so something well, else. And maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. They try to fire up the run game with Adrian Peterson. He'll get about three as he's taken down at the 23. Tough day, tough sledding right there, and it's been that way the entire game. Not a whole lot of room to ramble for him. Yeah, you're right. It's been that way all afternoon. Didn't get a whole lot better there. They run again with Peterson. And he got blown up on that play. Back at the 20. So he loses three yards there. Now third down. We just saw another example of how the defense is winning this game. Really at the point of attack. The offensive line is just getting pushed around. I think now as a play caller, you've got to give them a little bit of help. Maybe keep your tight ends a little bit more. Maybe the running backs help you a little bit with the pass blocking. But you've got to help them get some confidence because you can't abandon the play calling right now. The Cardinals on third down. They've converted three times and eight chances. This is third and ten. Here we go now. Blue Blue. Off the play fake. Stanton. And the Niners get there and bring him down. Aaron Lynch in there to drop him for a six-yard loss, and that'll lead to a fourth down. Brandon, I think you understand the type of afternoon this offensive line is having. It is a long one for them. Long for you to spend it with me. Long for them trying to block those guys. They've given up a whole lot of sacks, and the speed and quickness of that defensive line is eating them alive. Here's Andy Lee now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. <laughs> Call it 46 yards on the punt, just a single yard on the return as he was covered quickly. And out will come the offense as they take over. And San Francisco gets set to go here. They're out in front. Last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. They don't want to go out and, and punt it away again. This team now wants to get a cushion, put people away. They want to run their offense and have it end up in the end zone. to throw is Beathard toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Unable to connect on the first down pass play. Now it's second down. Ah! 
Here's High. And he'll muscle his way up to the 43 for a pickup of right around five. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had the incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. The Niners on third down. They're at 50%, four for eight. This will be third and five. Here's Bathard to throw. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he's got enough for the first to cross midfield to the 48. Give him 10 yards on that one, and that'll earn him a fresh set of downs. They ran that one well, and not only did they pick up a nice chunk of yardage on the screen, they sent a message to the defense. Rush the passer all you want, but you better be careful. We can hit you going back the other direction. So here we go, first and 10 now. Let's go! Green, 39! The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Wide open receiver complete. And they're able to get this one down to the 25. Fresh set of downs here. Let's go! Three, nineteen. They're going to look to throw. He's going to let it go deep for the end zone. So they took a shot on first down, but couldn't connect. Tremendous field position there and a perfect time to do exactly what they did. Take a shot at the end zone. And they went for the big play, just unable to complete it. Offense looking to avoid a third and long. It's second and ten. Now a run with high. And give him about three as he gets it down to the 22-yard line. They're in a pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves, start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. The Niners on third down, five out of nine thus far. This is third and seven. He'll look to throw. Open man is Taylor, he's got it. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. and goal here from the nine. All right, here we go. Now back to throw. That's complete right around the eight. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. He's a rookie, and you don't want to get hung up on the word potential. But when you see him make catches like that, you keep thinking to yourself, he's good now. He's got a chance to be great with plenty of work. They'll run for it with Hyde. And he'll take this into the end zone for a San Francisco touchdown. Carlos Hyde, a three-yard touchdown run. And the 
49ers add six to their lead. And nothing special there. They show they were going to run the football. They ran it. They got it in. Like old-time football, right? Hey, this is exactly what we're going to do. Straight ahead power, and they got it done. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. That time, a nine-play drive. And it was capped off by a Carlos Hyde touchdown run. Hunter Pinion now to kick this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. Yeah, some might have returned that one. He won't. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start the drive from the 25. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. On first down, Stanton over the middle, and it's incomplete. Larry Fitzgerald was the intended target. That'll bring up second down. We always talk about receivers. If the ball hits your hand, you're supposed to haul it in, but it is hard to adjust to a pass thrown a little bit behind you. That one was. All the momentum going forward. Couldn't contort his body back to grab it. Back to the air on second down. Stanton. And down he goes. The 49ers get there. Earl Mitchell in there to record another sack. Their sixth of the afternoon. This has been a tough one for this offensive line. It appears almost like they've been on roller skates this entire game, the way they've been pushed around. Six sacks given up in this one. The Cardinals on third down. They've converted a third of their opportunities. Three for nine. This is third and 14. Three, 19. Three, 19. Off play action. Stanton. He's going to look deep down the field. Trying for Brown, and it's intercepted. Rashard Robinson with a pick. And he's able to get it back to the 41-yard line. So it's third and long, and you know this is going to be a pass. So defensively, they're bringing an extra defensive back and just blanket the field. And this is an ill-advised throw right here as it winds up being picked off easily. There he is, the man taking the snaps under center, heading out for the next possession. He's played well. Good first half. He's continued that here in the third quarter. But my question, when you're a head coach, what do you look at stat line-wise for your coach? Do you go right to turnovers? You really do. As much as coaches don't want to talk about that, that's where it starts. When I played in college, our first rule for every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. And that's kind of how they judge you. Do you take care of the ball, not turn it over, keep it in the proper hands, and give your team a chance to win. Well, that's what he's done here in this one so far. They'll set up to throw. That's to the right side, complete to Kittle. And he's going to be taken down, but not before reaching the 15-yard line. A good pick up there, 26 yards. There are so many things to watch for when you play defense. And reading your keys, you always hear about that, and having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that play action there? That sprang the big guy, didn't it? Handle to dump it over the top to him.
First down and 10 now for the offensive group. Another tote for the afternoon workhorse. It's high. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. A solid pickup of 13 sets him up first and goal. Well, after those plays, the offense coordinator has to feel like he has balance in his favor. Threw it, then ran it, both for nice chunks of yardage. Now he feels like he's got things going in his direction, but the defensive coordinator, his guys are off balance a little bit. How does he set up, and what does he plan for in the next play? Is there a tendency there he can lock in on and maybe set his defensive call? They come out with one back and three tight ends. They run it again with Hyde. And this will result in him losing yardage back to the three. It's a loss of a yard there and now second down. Now that was a terrific play. We're down here near the goal line and only one word comes to mind for me and that's overwhelmed because they absolutely overwhelmed the offensive line. He came free and made the hit in the backfield. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. Offense working with a second and goal now from the three. They run high. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a touchdown. Carlos Hyde with now his second touchdown of this third quarter. And the 49ers continue to roll. And he certainly played a pivotal role with those two TDs and why they're up on the scoreboard right now. Well, someone's all about winning, aren't they? Because he's not worried about the number. Sure, it's great to have two touchdowns. But the bottom line is what he's doing is contributing to their lead. He wants to continue to do so. Now gold for the extra point. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. A drive there of just four plays. And it was capped off by a Carlos Hyde touchdown run. The punter pinion now to kick this one away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. And the Cardinals getting set to trot out there now. They have been struggling. I would imagine at halftime they went through some possible changes. Well, those changes aren't working, so now where do you go? I think that now it's much more in their head. And what I mean by that is, just what you said, you've gone over the changes. I bet they were pretty clinical at the half, not too emotional. They might need to go to the emotional <laughs> side because you've got to find something, some spark somewhere. And so far, just being calm hasn't exactly worked. They need any spark at this point. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And the Niners get there and bring him down. Ray Ray Armstrong in there with pressure yet again. And that's the seventh time they've dropped him here this afternoon. This offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush. We've seen it demonstrated time and time again to the tune of seven sacks in this game thus far. And 
as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here in Santa Clara. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair. Second down, offense behind the sticks here. Second and 13. From the gun, Stanton. And his throw is going to be incomplete. The Cardinals on third down. They're hitting it just 30%, three for 10. This is going to be third and 13. Operating from the gun, Stanton. And he couldn't hang on. Almost an interception there defensively. Instead, it brings up fourth. My man's getting a little loose with the football there, right? Interception before, almost had one here. He's got to start taking better care of it. Yeah, it really should have been back-to-back -back drives with interceptions. He's lucky there. Their already slim hopes are going to ride on this one. They'll go on fourth down. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And he's got Fitzgerald. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. Call it an even 20 yards on the pickup. And on fourth and long, somehow they're able to keep the drive going. Fourth down trailing in the fourth quarter. They felt compelled to go for it, and they got it. Well, I'd look down at my play sheet, and what I would find plays that have been successful throughout the game that have worked at the distance you need and that's exactly what they got done so after that big play let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels all right here we go green 39 green 39 throwing on first down stanton this one complete to gresham some tough running but it only gets him to the 45. the completion good for three and it's second down it's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. Looking to throw on second down. Stanton throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. That one was intended for John Brown, and it's third down. The Cardinals on third down. They've had a lot of chances, but not much success, converting only three times. This is third and seven. Right, From the gun, Stanton. And down he goes. The 49ers get there. Elvis Doberville in there to drop him for a six-yard loss, and that'll lead to a fourth down. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. No move to get the offense off the field here. They've converted once on this drive. On fourth, they'll go again and try it once more. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. 
He's going to loft one deep left side here. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Bruce Arians takes a shot there, but his guys come up empty. And the Niners take over in terrific field position. Well, apparently, they weren't interested in playing the field position game. They opt to keep their offense out there. A big mistake in hindsight. Yeah, that one backfired in hindsight's always 20-20, but let's call it what it was. We would have first guessed that one and said, don't do it here. Bad situation. I think they need to be closer to midfield before I would start to think it was a good idea. Yeah. And once you start taking risks like that, you're going to have to keep taking them throughout the game, especially when they don't work. Yeah, at this stage of the second half, interesting. And San Francisco gets set to go here. And Charles had a very one-sided affair. I think we've reached the point in the broadcast where you and I, <laughs> we may have some filling to do, right? Yeah, I think you're right about that because we got to try to keep people around. We don't want them to change the channel. Stay with us in this game. Is that Ben Ramsar? Are you hearing from Ben on the headset here? Tell yeah. us stretch, stretch this thing out a little bit. <laughs> Get some talking points. Dig them all out. Ah, uh, that's what you get. A big-time producer. Keep them here. All right, here we go. Ah! Carry number 20 here for Hyde. And he'll be stopped up quickly here at the 38. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Yeah, that wasn't a big run, just a short one there. But guess what? Sometimes you treat it like boxing. You throw that jab out there, and you throw it again, you throw it again, then you come with a big punch later. Maybe they're just trying to set him up. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. Again, it's high. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. Give him four on the ground there. They're now left with third and six. Well, partner, Marvin, our number one stats guy, just handed me a little card that says he has 97 yards on the ground today. You think he's going to get the ball again? I think so. Three away from that century mark. Got to have it. Yeah, and I think what they're going to call is one of his favorite runs, whatever he feels comfortable with, and what the offensive line has executed well today to try and get him over 100 yards. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. It's a gain of five, and now the question, will the offense stay out there on fourth and one? This team doesn't mind running the ball in any situation, and I thought he was going to get the first down the way the play developed, but the defense closed in and stopped him just about a yard short. On fourth down, Kyle Shanahan will send out the field goal unit. From the right hash, it's a 46-yard attempt. to the football it's blocked it's picked up and now look at him go 30 the 20 10 and the Cardinals are in touchdown Now Dawson for the extra point. And that will cut this lead down to 25. After the touchdown, it's Dawson on to kick it away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he'll wind up getting an extra couple yards here for his trouble as he'll bring this one out 
to the 27. And San Francisco gets set to go here. out to the 30. Brandon's all about pace and tempo now for him. They've got the advantage, so I'm going to put musical terms for you. You don't want to go prestissimo. That's too quick, too lively, right? But you also don't want to slow it down too much. You don't want to go lent up. What you really want to be is moderato. Uh, nice and even, uh, nice and steady. Get those gains and close out the game. I think that chicken parm from last night's gone to your head. <laughs> And he's got a good gain of seven up to the 37. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. The offense on third down tonight. They've converted six times and could use a seventh here. They're looking at third and a few inches. All right, here we go. Boom, ah! They'll drop to throw. And able to haul it in is Kittle. And he's taken down, but not before getting this across midfield and just shy of the 40. A good pick up there, a 22. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. his way forward here for a modest gain. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. This drive is turning to an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll be taken down at the 34. And he got half of what he needed there, two yards. And it'll bring up a third and two more. Well, that's all about doing the dirty work right there defensively. Second and short yardage, that's all about plugging those gaps, not giving the running back a crease to run through. And has a nice job to hold him just a couple and force a third down. They'll go to the air here on third and two. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. He had his lone attempt blocked earlier. And that is no good. He gave it a good run. That wasn't more than a foot or so wide to the left. And this score will stay right where it is. Well, it's still a good size lead, so they haven't necessarily needed him. But this is now two missed field goals for him in this game so far. Yeah, and the question now is, will he be prepared when they do need him? Whether that's later in this game or sometime down the line, having a kicker you can count on is definitely imperative. The Cardinal offense here ready to take over. And this offense last time turned it over, went for it on fourth, didn't get it. They're lucky, though, because no points against the team on the board, but we'll see how they respond. Yeah, they've got to get a lot of credit to their defensive teammates, don't they? They had their backs on that last series, and because they did so, 
that allows a coach to still stay aggressive on offense and maybe go for it again in a similar situation. I was going to say, maybe makes that offense feel good but when you know you've got a defense making stands like that. Yeah, that'll loosen up things a little bit, won't it? Maybe it'll play a little bit better the next time you have the ball. On first and 10, Stanton. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. A good cover defensively as they get to him just beyond the 45 after the juke. Call it a pickup of seven, and it's a second down. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Completed pass play. Now let's see if they go back to the air or to the ground. Here we go now. Three, 19. To throw on second down, Stanton. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. So they saw the contact before the ball arrived. Penalty flag for pass interference. And trying to avoid pass interference is so difficult. You're trying to slow down these skilled receivers, and somehow, some way, they make plays on the football, and sometimes you're there too soon. Now the offense lining up first and 10. And now whistles and a flag, and I think we got a jump here. Pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up. Defense. A free five yards as the defense jumps. I know it's an anticipation game for them, but it's also a reaction game, and they reacted poorly on that one. from the gun. Stanton looking for Fitzgerald and it's intercepted. Picked off at about the 31. Room here to run. And they will score. It's a 49er touchdown. Defensively, they've had their way in this one. That pick six makes that scoreboard even more lopsided. I remember talking with a guy in the league, and I said, what do you do when the game's like this? You know, it's pretty much over. You ready to go to the bench and hang out? He said, oh, heck no. I want to stay on the field. I might get some stats. I might get a pick or two. <laughs> you like being out there at the end of these wide margins. When they have to throw it, that gives you more opportunities to go get it. Gold to add the extra point. Now this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. This is taken at the three. And he'll take this across the 25. Couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. 
Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. And last time, decent field position through the pick six. Obviously costly. But they can't afford to just bunker in now. All right, they, good field position means go ahead and attack on offense. Try and press the advantage a little bit. They just have to be better with the football on this possession. So the last one, didn't bother you too much last time? No, because it's, it's exactly what you're supposed to do. You can't have good field position and not try to take advantage of it. Sometimes the defense makes a good play, too. Throwing after the interception. Stanton, man open left side is Brown. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. So the offense has it first and 10. Over, 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 over. From the gun, Stanton. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. 10 yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Timing is everything, and they work on this cut all the time. They work on all the timing patterns, and this time it paid off for them. Worked him to the center of the field, cut it to the outside, ball's delivered, gets both feet down for the completion. Second down now after the pass completion. Hey, right, right. hey, hey, hey. Now let's go. Now Stanton. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. Oh, it's a nickel set here defensively on third and inches. Still want to be prepared for a pass. Here we go now. Boom, landing. Operating from the gun, Stanton. And he comes back with one complete. And that little deke, the juke move that we saw, able to give him the first down yardage before he's brought down. Offense comes to the line now, first and ten. Looking to throw, Stanton, and he's taken to the ground, but he was pulled down by the face mask. Here come the flags, and I believe this is going to be a first down. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. So here we go, first and ten now. the gun. Stanton. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he gets it down to the 32. Seven yards the pickup on the pitch and catch. Nothing flashy there. The slant to the slot. Oh, and the frustration for the defensive guys because it's a quick play. And you know it's going to be a bang-bang play in terms of the throw and the catch. And then he's able to absorb the contact and complete it. And the offense still has a couple plays to go to pick up the first on second down and three. And we've got movement by one of the big boys up front for Arizona. Flag comes in. And that'll set him back five. Go, go. 
And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. Looking to throw on second down. Stanton caught right side. Gresham. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take what you can guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. And here comes play number six on this drive. gun on third down. Stanton fighting his safety valve here. That's complete. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. Well, they've had a great impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defense side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sidelines while this one continues downfield. Fresh set of downs here. And we've got movement by one of the big boys up front for Arizona. Flag comes in. That's on the veteran guard, Alex Boone. from the gun. Stanton. And the Niners get there and bring him down. for a break. This one all over but the shouting. We'll finish it after this. So the Cardinals, they've got the football here as we get you reset. They're looking at second down now as they search for a consolation score. Of the offense a little antsy the flag comes out and a five-yard penalty offense. and that'll be accepted of course and that moves him back five to throw on second down. Stanton, and Gresham's got it over the middle. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. The reception good for seven. It's third down. Throwing on third and long. Stanton. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds incomplete. So now they're going to send out the field goal unit to, as they say, fire away from long distance. So this will be spotted on the midfield logo. It's a 58-yard attempt. And that will wind up just short. He had it online. It ran out of 
of gas at the end, and this score will stay right where it is. Well, he gets everything he could into this one. The trajectory's good. It's definitely online. It just need a little more oomph behind it, and it'll wind up falling just shy of the crossbar. And San Francisco gets set to go here. They have the big lead here late. They protected their home turf well, didn't they? They certainly did, partner. And just think about how good that feels because every team has a goal when they start the year to win at home. All right? And sometimes you don't win all of them, but they managed to get that done today. Just think about your routine stays the same. Everything's familiar. You feel right going into the game, and they translated that into a win. They did indeed. They protected the home field, and now the final stages. They'll give the high. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. So nothing there, but maybe you blame that on the blocking. Yeah, at some point, you've got to win at the point of attack, and on that play, that was all the defense. They made it happen. Ten yards still left on second down. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he might have got this across midfield, not by much. They'll mark it down at the 49. Give him three yards, and now they're left needing a conversion here on third and six. Third down now following the run. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Good one, able to haul it in. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. I tell you, Charles, you play to the final whistle, I get that. But there are a few folks that might not be too happy with that score late in the game with it already well in hand. You seem a little squeamish about that last I, score. I struggle with it. <laughs> I struggle. But on the other, the, the argument, I get it, on the other side is, hey, do something about it. Stop them. Now, I guarantee you, I know who was really excited, fantasy owners yeah. who had them. Hey, listen, get the points from me. They're not worried about hurt feelings or anything like that. That's just new age stuff. Now gold for the extra point. Now this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And the end result for the 49ers, a touchdown. Punter Pinion now to kick this one away. This is taken at his four. Well, in this one, partner, we had some action all the way down to the final whistle there with the late points and then the kickoff to end it. Yeah, and the best part about it is just seeing how teams battled all the way to the end, you know. Didn't really matter. The scoreboard was pretty well set, but they still competed until the final whistle. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gunn. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports.
The 49ers get the win here at home as we say so long from Santa Clara.